Welcome back to Rare Gun Adventures. Well, today I have the Webley service revolver, CO2 powered, 0.177 BB pistol. Um, full disclosure, this isn't my pistol. This is on loan for the review. The reason I've decided to have a look at this, because um, we're a little bit uh, late to the party with it, Two things really. One is that uh, Webley have just released two more models. So there is a two and a half inch and a four inch barrel, which they call the civilian and the police. This is obviously the military version. And they have just launched, literally just launched, a 2.2 calibre variation. And I think that will probably um, stoke a lot more interest in these particular pistols. Now, Webley have made these to the original blueprints. And there are lots of reviews and no doubt you've seen people gushing about them before. I say this every time I do a replica gun review. I'm not really into replica guns. Um, I'm not entirely sure that's true anymore. But anyway, this particular one, as I say, it's very authentic. It's very realistic. It's built to the original blueprints. It does everything it should. Now, the incredible thing about these historical replicas, uh, this one in particular, is that it is exactly as it should be. Um, and to do that and to make it work as a CO2 pistol is quite a feat of engineering. In fact, so much so that um, this one's probably unique in the way that it works. Uh, if you look at the shape, you've got that sort of curve in the back edge there. Nothing else has that. And the reason they don't have it is there's a valve that faces that way, it tends to make the back square. That works fine for the Colt Python and the Dan Wesson pistols not for this one. So this has had to be redesigned to accommodate that curve and the valve faces down, which has changed the way the whole thing works, but it works perfectly. So this is really quite special. Now it's got the marking on it, <coughs> uh, Webley, 1915. You won't be able to see that, I don't suppose. So I'll get a close up in a minute. <coughs> Everything on this is as it should be, full metal apart from the grips and the grips obviously are plastic because they house the CO2 which sits in there. It's um, similar in many ways to the Smith & Wesson Schofield that I reviewed recently. Now this is where the lanyard would be to attach this to a piece of leather so as if you dropped it in the field you could retrieve it easily. That is actually the screw to push up the cartridge and piercing. So, it's original, it's where it should be, but it serves a function on this particular pistol. The safety on this is just a push backwards and forwards safety. It's just in there. It's white when it's safe, red when it's good to go. Now, it's quite a small safety and it's quite rough on your finger really. Um, but having said that, it's still a good thing to have. It's double and single action, so you can fire it Actually, let's take the safety back off. <clears throat> Cock it and fire it. Or you can pop away on the trigger to your heart's content. It holds six. Top brake again. Same idea with the extractor as a Schofield. When it's all the way around, so 90 degrees, releases the extractor. These um, shells, the BB ones, they're very like the ones you find in everything else, except back there with the firing pin would hit. They're actually marked Webley, um, which is a really nice touch. Now this would have been a 0.455 calibre in its original form, which is why it proved so popular, because of its stopping power. They were also incredibly reliable, although they were inclined to misfire on reloading, um, which isn't an issue on these because of the way they work. The trigger on this is excellent. I mean, in Single action, barely any trouble. Uh, double action, obviously you're actuating a lot of other mechanisms, so you work a bit harder, you need a bit more tri trigger trouble. Um, on this six inch one, you can see that the end is rebated or recessed to give the impression of a larger bore. I think on the uh, shorter barrels, that might not be the case. I haven't seen one up close and personal. Anyway, I'm gonna put six into a target. Um, CO2, BB gun on a cold day. My expectations aren't high. Um, having said that, I have fired this a number of times before and always been quite impressed. 
So let's see if we can do it again today. So I'll be right back. Okay, there's the original Webley Mark VI Paintance, 1915 Mark on the pistol. As I say, you probably couldn't see that earlier, so there it is. Right, moving on. Wow, well, um, that's the best I've ever fired this gun. It could just be, I've been doing a few pistols recently, perhaps I'm just getting better at shooting. Um, BB gun, CO2 power. Um, smoothbore barrel that was 10 yards possibly a bit further um i'm quite impressed the fixed open sights aren't bad on this i, I mean they they are fixed open sights and i believe the originals were adjustable it's quite a nice peep sight there nice tight aperture obviously you've got a very traditional and original designed front blade there um very easy to line up and you can see from the uh, shooting results Works quite well. Um, I don't know how many shots you get from a 12 gram, uh, if I'm absolutely honest, but I, I suspect it'll be a good many. Um, as a BB gun, um, well, it was, it's pretty good. You know, I, I can't really complain about the accuracy. I fancied getting hold of the pellet firing one, actually, but I just couldn't get it for today. And this will be my last review before Christmas. So I've got this one. What I will say about the way it's packaged, <coughs> I mean, these boxes are like everybody else's. Picture of the gun, bit of basic info, but on the back, there's a list of film and game credits there. Um, and that list has grown since I first saw one of these. So uh, that's quite an interesting and quite a nice little feature to put on there. Power-wise, it's definitely, actually, I think it actually says on the box. <coughs> um, yeah, it's below three joules, and, and it is. This is a roundabout. Um, the two foot pound mark you might probably squeeze a bit more out of it in the warmer weather um, but that's what you're going to get this isn't um, a target shooting gun although having just seen the result was on the target maybe maybe it is but it's not designed to be this is something for plinking a bit of fun it really is a replica of an iconic historical firearm for you to collect that's really what it is. The fact that you can shoot it in the garden and knock over some cans or break some chalk or clay targets or even fire them into a target, um, it's just a bonus. The weight of this, this is just over the kilo, uh, empty. The shells and the CO2 would add slightly to that, but not anything very much. Um, it's, <laughs> it's barreling heavy, they always are. It would have been originally. That's the nature of this kind of pistol. Um, a shorter barrel, like the two and a half inch, wouldn't be. Uh, it may even be more accurate. I would say that for the money, and there's a price on this box, it says 209 pounds, you probably saw that. Um, I think they're still about that. I think they're still around the top of 200 to 220 pound mark. I'm not sure about the 2.2 caliber. I'm waiting to get some prices. I had a quick look on my local dealer's website today which is Protect Supplies in Bogner Regis they've got them on there um, and it says they start at 199 so I'll give them a call on um, well tomorrow I guess see what they've got see how much they are because I am quite tempted now to acquire one of these so that's what it looks like you've seen how it works you've seen how it shoots not much more to say it's a pretty good little replica pistol anyway Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Big thank you to everyone who has liked and subscribed. It's much appreciated. Have a great Christmas. Have a good new year. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.